I did a video a while back, maybe I did two, about, about Zillow, my former addiction. I literally went on Zillow more than I went on Twitter or Instagram or probably any other social media because like, <laughs> I was on Zillow all the time because I was looking to buy a house and then I bought a house. But I probably will never do a full house tour to try and protect my own privacy. Also, disclaimer for this, if you ever find out where a YouTuber lives or somebody that you don't know, or if you find out where I live, do not come to my house. Do not go to any YouTuber's house. Don't go to anyone's house without ever being invited. So there. But today, we are going to look at YouTuber house tours. There we go. Yes, so disclaimer, I'll be looking at these videos and judging people's houses, but I wanna make it known that despite what I may say about said houses, this doesn't mean that I have personal beef with the person whose house it is, okay? Okay? I don't want anybody going around saying, oh, Ethan hates this person because he didn't like their house. I probably hate them for different reasons. And their house sucks. Hello guys, and welcome to our brand it's new so home. white. But before I show you oh, all around, no. first All right, number one flag, guys, already. I'm assuming that's marble. Immediate no-no for me. I don't like it, it feels sterile. Also, and again, this is no hate on Vic. Good job for getting this cool house. <laughs> the white everywhere is, uh, it's a lot. So okay, tall. here's the entryway. It's, high ceilings and it's really tall. Story, so it's really, it's really tall. Those front staircase. doors are cool. The way it goes staircase up, is kind of cool. A, a little, it just feels so sterile, you know? It's so white. It feels like a a really fancy hospital. And yeah, it's, 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 it's a hallway. I don't know what else to say, but we'll bring you on through. Yeah, it looks very empty. The rest of the also, I don't know if he had just moved in here, but Vic, you got to get some stuff to put in here, whether it's art. See, having white walls is okay. It's not my personal decision. I grew up having painted walls everywhere. But you gotta fill the white walls with some art and stuff. If you got the money for this house, you got the money to get an interior designer. As you guys know, I love open plan The living. ceiling's Obviously, cool. The flats I've been in. So this is the kitchen slash kind of mm. casual mm. living area. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like a real house. Like it doesn't feel lived in. This feels like it's it's part of a catalog or something. You got this. This, this cracked glass backsplash. The, back, the backsplash is pretty cool. <laughs> I, I, don't think I would assume that's intentional. I would hope that that's intentional because if it's not intentional, that's really bad. <laughs> they just put a glass backsplash and then they cracked it and they were like, well, fuck, I guess. You might think it's a cupboard, but in actual fact, it's not. We have uh, a utility wow. room. And while we're here a in utility room. Utility. That's actually pretty sweet. That's pretty smart. Having it hidden like that, that's kind of cool. Do we leave this white or do we get some sort of, some sort of you wallpaper change. design on here? Uh, I mean, not on not wallpaper, uh, just paint it. Question. We have another. Just paint it. We have an empty space right underneath the chandelier. You can yes, have a nice you do. circular table here. So Maybe even one of the ones I've seen them where you can like a twist dining them room and expand table. out. Another little bit of clever storage. Yeah, so it seems like he's just moved in. Before we go upstairs, Ooh. let's check out the okay. garden. The so garden. A... Nice little sitting spot. You got a big yard. Ooh, a nice pool. There you go. Here's the question. How much are you going to use the pool? Everyone wants a pool. At one point, I was thinking about getting a pool. I was thinking about putting a pool in this current house, and then I didn't. And I'm really glad that I didn't. One, it's really fucking expensive to build a pool. But two, it's really expensive to maintain. But three, everyone thinks that they're gonna use a pool all the time. And then they don't. It's nice in theory, but then you just don't use it. I guess, yeah, I don't know. It fills out the yard nice, because that's a huge Outdoor yard. Shower Outdoor shower is kind of cool. Hot and tub, nice. And then here, mm -hmm. we have the barbecue area. There you go. Also, it's not in a great way right now, but there is there is a koi carp Ooh. pond. Don't have any koi carp. Don't really oh. know if I want any koi carp. You should. That would be cool. See, I think like a pond, that's kind of cool. I wouldn't put a pond in, but like if this house had a pond, I'd be like, ooh, that's pretty. You can sit by it. You can read by it. I don't ever read, but I'd go and sit by it. Let's go and check out the master bedroom. Mmm, here we go. This is the master bedroom. The master bedroom. An empty okay. room right now. Yep. A very cool <laughs> room. We have the master bathroom. I can't tell if I like this. It feels too much. 
This feels like the kind of bathroom that would be in like a fancy hotel, not in someone's house. Which is, it's, it's massive. It's really Power. cool, but we'll I don't know if I, I don't know if I like it. Ooh, wait, does he have a cinema room? Oh yeah. <sighs> what a shame. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a really cool space and you could make a, such a cool cinema room. And I'm sure that's a big-ish TV, but it looks kind of small on the wall. And there's just nothing. It's, oh boy. Got the bar in the back for anyone that wants drinks. Oh. Got the big sofa for See, all the guests. I'd love to kick back. It could be. Now, but I'm a busy guy and I got more of this house to show you. It could be cool, but it's like the most disappointing room in the house, I feel like. All right. After skipping through Vic's house, it's very pretty, but also very sterile. But also, I can tell that he just moved in. I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10. It's all right. <laughs> Our new house tour? How many houses have the Ace family bought? I feel like that's all of the videos they ever make is a house tour. Okay, well, now we have to look at it. I feel like the Ace family is the type of channel that I will absolutely claim my video. They probably will. <laughs> Okay, so far, this is nice. So, I, I just took a shower and Austin said, let's I film. I can't stand the, the, the stare that he just had. I just took a shower and Austin said, What do you got? What do you got, Ace family? This is why I wanted to film See, that's, yes. that's nice. Waterfalls. That's nice. If you're a fan of waterfalls, just give this video a thumbs up. If, I don't know, it just does something to me. <laughs> why do I feel like there's no happiness here at all? It's so nice and pretty. Obviously, they're both doing well, but it seems like they're both so unhappy, and it My seems like life. this is so obligate. Like this soul. seems drained of the soul. Family played Beauty and the Beast. Wait. I really hope that one of them plays the piano. Whoever's editing this, can you look up if anyone from the Ace family plays piano? Am I disappointed? Here, liquefy my face into a smile or a frown. Wow. I hope it's not this because this start at over $100,000 for a piano that I don't think they know how to play. Okay, this living everything, I don't know why. Is it because it's being filmed at night? Why do I feel like there's no soul or happiness or anything in this video? It's so odd. I don't know why it's so odd. Again, I'm skipping because I'm I'm not I don't care about their video. I just want to see what their house looks like. This is a cool area. As someone who owns a pool table, this is a cool area. I like that a lot. I kind of like the indoor outdoor feel. I would love to have something like this where it's like a little game and party spot and like a separate place to like work out. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Nice gym. They got a big yard. Holy shit. They have a big yard. They have a boxing ring. No, we're going to feel at a jungle gym and then no. put the trampoline no, here. Oh, trampoline. I do want a trampoline. As a former gymnast, I would love a trampoline. So now the master. Again, uh -huh. no judge. A little dirty. That door is massive. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I thought I thought they had a I thought back there was their Got the their bedroom. Section over here. Okay. It's beautiful. It's just it's little. just kind of boring. Nice. If I'm honest, I don't know why. Like it's nice looking, but it it's kind of everything is kind of boring. Am I, am I wrong? Am I being too judgmental? I gotta stop watching this video, guys. I feel like the happiness is being sucked out of my body. Everything feels so forced. The one thing that I like about this video is the lack of their children in it. It's not something about the Flame and Vlog channels. It's just like you're forcing a camera into your child's face. I don't know. It feels weird. I'll give them a 7 out of 10 because I liked it better than Vix. But I, I'm i now depressed. Oh, okay. Ro did. Hey, guys. It's Ro. Welcome to my new home. I know, Ro. I got so many requests from you guys. Ro's very, very me. sweet. Right when you enter the home, to the mm. right, there is this That's a cool beautiful front door. office. These doors mm. actually mm. did not okay. exist when we moved in. These were built by okay. Emmerich okay, Ironworks. Also, it's very pretty. I wouldn't want to have that in my own house because it feels a little too worky, but I also can't really say much because... <laughs> but it is very office -y. But it also has way more 
employees and stuff like that. So it, it probably is really nice having like a legit office. And here we have a really large table mm -hmm. with a bunch of big, cozy seating. Big table. See, I like, I like this a lot more as far as the design. And I'm not just saying that because I know Ro, but like, I don't know, the design seems more cohesive and nicer and not as sterile i don't know Out our house this beautiful photography got some art Peter okay Anderson. and look at i this. feel like there has been no art in either of the other house videos i'm just gonna be skipping through these because i'm gonna watch a few of them i just want to i just want to remind you what this is okay i'm not fully watching through everybody's thing okay thank you Ooh, that's a cool staircase i like the staircase and the railings that's really cool I like that a lot. No, it's not cool to put carpet on floating stairs, but when you have two French bulldogs mm. and we have kids over now, it's not the fanciest thing. But it's fair. I kind of like the carpet on there. I don't know. It looks nice. Underneath the stairs, we got this dog crate from Wayfair. I almost I bought it that because both Spencer and B have crates. Spencer more than B loves his crate. That's like his special spot. Um, because wait i ordered this where is this i completely forgot that i had ordered that because it's been so long Ooh, okay i like this see the big art on the wall is nice it's just nice that there's things taking up space and there's contrast which is nice Nice row. It opens up directly onto the patio, Ooh. and the patio Ooh, yeah. is so nice. cool. There's tons of That's seating. Nice. I've That's, had a few dinner parties here already. That backyard's incredible. And, and there's that little up. back the house there. Ooh. For a button by Smith & Noble. Oh. I show you this is where I bake a scene. It's made with a huge dream. We've here so This over here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a built-in coffee machine. It That's even so has cool. an app on your phone. My friend I Justine, who's all into tech, she would That's be proud so of me. Cool. Look at this. It's gonna make a cappuccino. What the hell? That's dope. But let me show you the pantry, which is the basically pantry. a second kitchen. This oh, is basically yeah. where I prep all of the baking nice. videos that I make. Nice, nice. Counter space. If I ever get another house, I want to have like a proper pantry. It'd be really nice. Now I knew that smart fridges existed, but I didn't know they could be this smart. You bump her, she opens herself, and if you uh -huh. forget it closer, she closes. My fridge does that, so. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, here, now wait, hold on. over to Mike's favorite room of the house. Uh -huh. This room is also Blueberry's favorite room of the house because it is the coziest. It's the only room that's all carpeted. It's soundproof. The cinema room. And it's the movie theater room. That's nice. The projector and this that's huge pretty screen, nice. And that's we have pretty nice. A bunch of okay. I'm gonna make some. <sighs> I feel like you could have gotten a. <laughs> Feel like you could have gotten a bigger screen. Just feels like you could have filled up the wall a little bit more. The one thing that I don't like about this room is everything is kind of the same color, but I like it. Overall, I like it. I like it. I'd be curious to see what the system is like though. Now let's head over to the gym. Now our Ooh, last the gym. gym was maybe okay. a little bit too big. I'd also so love to have is the perfect a, size a proper a gym. Workout. It doesn't look the prettiest right now, but it's, it's pretty very nice. Functional. It's pretty nice. I feel like a gym doesn't need to look pretty. It needs to be My functional. And it looks functional. Now let's go see my room. All right, final stage. There you go. The master. Pretty, pretty good. I like the back wall. It feels very beachy. A very beachy place. A chandelier inside the bedroom. That's pretty crazy. This living okay. space has living two space of here. these teddy bear couches. See, this Look is something that looks object. nice, but I feel like it's probably never, ever used. If you're going to watch something, I feel like you do it in the living room or like in the cinema room. All the oh, way. There you go. So you got good. the right off you the got the whole the, the whole slide. Room. That's pretty nice. I like that. Every bathroom Bathroom's in pretty. this house has heated it's, floors. It's very big. It's right heated floors would be sick. All right, Ro. I'm going to rate your house an 8 out of 10. 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Let's go 8 and a half. Very pretty. Very functional. A beautiful, beautiful home. But it didn't feel sterile. It didn't feel sterile, which is really nice. Okay. I'm going to end this one here. Well, let me know what you thought of these YouTuber house tours. And let me know if you want me to do another one. And specifically, whose houses I should look at. Again, 
if you ever find out the address of a YouTuber or a streamer or anybody that you don't know personally, don't ever go there. If you ever come to my house, I fucking hope nobody ever does. I will not take a picture with you. I will not sign anything. I will probably actually be an asshole to you because it's a huge invasion of privacy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much. I don't know why my hands are in the air. Okay, I love you. Bye. What is that, my crazy crew?